Hello coaches, in this Blue Golf TMSGA tutorial, we are going to go over the steps on how to input your scores into Blue Golf. First thing you are going to want to do is go to bluegolf.com. Top left hand corner, you'll see these three bars here. Go ahead and click on those and then click sign in. Then input your login and password. If you do not have your login and password, Please let us know and we will be sure to send that to you. Once you've logged in, this will be the home screen that you see. To access kind of your calendar and, and your matches, you're going to want to click on rounds, the rounds icon. Once you've done that, your calendar will pop up. Now, for this example, we are going to be inputting scores for our match on February 18th. So you go to February 18th, you click on the date, and then you go ahead and click on the name of the match down here. This is for this example, Boys Match Blue Golf Tutorial. So click there. And then kind of the matches back site pops up, if you will. So once we have made it to the process to where we are ready to input scores, what we have already done is each team that's competing in the match, every team has already added their players to the match that are participating, and we have also already added the players to the groups. If you need to figure out how to add players to the match or are confused on how to add players to groupings or to create groupings, you can access um, our how-to uh, YouTube tutorials on those two items on our website tnjuniorgolf.com slash tmsga. So we are going to go over how to input the scores. So like I said, we've already added our golfers, we've already created the groups. Now, what we do first, once we are kind of in these, uh, the matches back site here, you're going to want to click card down here at the bottom. So click card, and then a list of your groupings pops up. All right. So let's say that Mr. Dillard and Mr. Mangrum have just completed their match and they've handed you uh, their card and everything looks great. They've both signed the card and it's ready to be inputted into the Blue Golf system. So you click on their their names there and their card pops up. Now, here are the numbers that you can uh, click on to input the scores. What you're going to want to do first is we have um, kind of found that entering scores by player as opposed to by hole is much easier for coaches. However, the default is that it um, does it by hole, meaning, say, if Caleb makes a five on the first hole, you'll see this blue box here means that we are inputting what Caleb made on the first hole. So put five, see how that blue box automatically drops down to Jason on the first hole? Sometimes that can be difficult going back and forth, back and forth between the players, and it's easier if it, that blue box would just go straight across for us. So what we do is to create it so where it's scored by player first as opposed to holes, you click on these two arrows here, and once you do that, this will pop up. Go ahead and click on shots, and then go ahead and click on settings here. All right, and now this screen pops up and it says enter scores, and right now it's by hole, and we want to make it by golfer. So go ahead and click by golfer, and click done, and then you'll be able to click the back button, the back button again, and then you can click the name of the grouping, and you're back to where we were. So go ahead and click click on Caleb's name. He made a five, all right, and then goes to the second hole, four, say so made a six on the third, and so on. So you're just entering the scores that he made on all the holes and in six. All right, so once you've inputted the nine holes for him, go ahead and click the first hole for Jason. Input his scores that he made. Okay, and he just does that like that. And once you have inputted both Caleb and Jason's scores, go ahead and click the LB button down here at the bottom. That stands for leaderboard. Click that, then you'll see that, click on the stroke play, that C. Mangrum and J. Dillard have been inputted, and they both shot 41. Okay, now to get to your second group, to input their scores, go ahead and click card here. So you click card, 
you click the second group. All right, we're going to go ahead and enter the scores for Gregory. Gregory, remember there is a triple bogey max, so you should never have to enter a nine, but uh, eight is the highest anyone can make on a par five. So then once we've done Gregory, we then click on the first hole for Samuel, and we go over the same, just entering his nine scores that he made there. All right, then we do the same for Jacob. All right, and we have his nine holes entered, and then Peter, we're going to do the same thing for Peter. Okay, again, just doing hole by hole scores for each player. All right, so we've inputted all the scores for the four golfers in that group. Go ahead and click leaderboard again, and you'll see that those four scores were also added to the list. So, um, so far, six of the ten players competing in the match have been added. Their scores have been added, that is. So, to get to the last group, go ahead and click card again. All right, and click the final group and go ahead and click the first hole for Seth and go ahead and start entering his scores. If you enter an incorrect score, say he made a three, or excuse me, say he made a four on the third hole as opposed to a three, you click on the three and then just click the zero. Once you do that, it'll ask you if you want to change the three to a zero. You can click OK and then just enter, say he made a four on that hole, you can do that. Or maybe an easier way is Say he made a five on number two, click where you have inputted a four and just select five. It'll ask you if you want to change the four to a five, select OK. Okay, so that's how you change scores. All right, and now when you're doing this on a computer, you have to physically click the numbers here at the top. So you're not going to be able to actually type the numbers in by using your keyboard. So you actually have to click the numbers here on this gray bar so that's how you're having to do this and if you're doing it on your phone it's very easy you just click the numbers that appear on your phone so we've input it for Titus now we go down to Trenton it's Trenton scores all the way through number nine and then Truman he's the final golfer in the group okay and so he has You've inputted all nine scores for Truman there. All right, so go ahead and go to leaderboard. You'll see all 10 of the scores have been entered. So this is the stroke play leaderboard that will show up on the website. To see kind of how the team competition went, you can go up here and where it says stroke play, click there, and then click the team stroke play. And you will see that Berean Christian shot 14 over, 158, and um, Blackman Middle School shot 22 over, 166. The Blue Golf software automatically takes the four best scores for you, so you don't have to worry about that. So you can see if you go back into the stroke play, there are all of the names there, and the, the highest score from each team is automatically dropped from... Uh, the competition when it's calculating the team stroke play portion as long as you have five players playing. If you have four players playing then all four of your scores will count. So you've already at, you've added all the scores. Uh, you can see here the, the final tally here for each school. So what you can do is where will this be visible for everyone, your players, their parents, grandparents, etc. on the website. To access the leaderboard you go to our website, tnjuniorgolf.com slash tmsga. All right. Once you're there, go ahead and go to Schedules and Results. For this example, we were using Berean Christian and Blackman Middle School. So say it's a Blackman Middle School parent is curious, they can go to their district there. Blackman's in the M4 district. Click that. It was a Blackman Boys match, so you click Blackman Middle School. And here you can see their current, upcoming, and recent. So because that date that we inputted was a February um, match, it would be under recent. Okay, And here it is, the February 18th match, the boys match. So you click there, 
All right, and then this pops up. So you see that for Brian Christian School, they shot 158, Blackman Middle School 166. Here are the players from Brian Christian, exactly what they shot. Here are the players from Blackman Middle School, exactly what they shot. If you would like to see a hole by hole breakdown for each player, just click on the player's name and it pulls up their scorecard for them. Very cool thing there. So in this example, the green, or sorry, the orange are bogeys, the blue are birdies, the dark blue are eagles, and the white number, the white backgrounds are all the pars. All right, so that's kind of the team uh, score leaderboard. To access the stroke play contest, just go there and select stroke play, and there's a breakdown uh, 1 through 10 how each golfer fared in the match. So that is how you input your scores into Blue Golf and how your players, your parents, grandparents, etc can access the the leaderboards online. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to let us know at the TMSG off, TMSGA office. We are here to help in any way that we can. Thank you all so much for everything you do and as always, happy golfing.